Hi, I'm Tamara Lackey, and on this episode of Redefine Show for Adorama TV, I speak with friend, fellow Nikon ambassador, and fashion photographer Dixie Dixon. We talk about how she broke into this rather competitive industry and the amount of work she puts into getting more work, the details of which might surprise you. Take a look. Adorama TV presents The Redefine Show with Tamara Lackey. I am sitting here with the fabulous Dixie Dixon, my fellow Nikon ambassador and fashion photographer extraordinaire. <laughs> Thank you so much for sitting down with Thanks me. Thanks for having me. I'm you, wh wh you're very good in the fashion field. Why did you choose that? Where did that come from for you? You know, I think I love fashion and advertising. Um, it's a field where you can really bring a, a brand's vision to life. So I like to sort of get to know the brand almost like I would a person. Mm -hmm. So I like to get to know the, the style and the attitude that goes into that brand, like the different colors, the fonts they use. All of these things are making that personality, that brand. Right. And so when they hire you to do the, do the shoot, that's what I really like to communicate in my images, is bringing out that lifestyle. Because they're not just selling beautiful clothes on beautiful people. They're selling the whole lifestyle mm, amen. that goes yes. along with it. It's like yes. idealistic and it's fantasy. Right. And I think that's what I love creating. It's like that fantasy in the images. The fantasy of yeah. combining the personality of the brand yeah. through through the models. Yeah, and, and showcasing like, that. piece of art out of it. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that very so much. much and you, you got into this early on. Yeah, yep. absolutely. And, and you knew pretty quickly that you wanted to. Because it's funny, because I talk to a lot of people who love photography but waffle for a very long time right, about absolutely. whether they take that jump. Yeah. And, and what would you say to people who are in that stage in terms of waffling? Like what, what for you was like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just gonna do this. Like what stood out to yeah. you is like, I, this is the part of it that I love. I think that, you know, when you're first starting out, you're shooting everything. You're shooting yeah. to figure out what you love to shoot. So I shot weddings, I shot portraits, I shot Little League photography. Did you, like, you shoot Little League? Okay. I started shooting, yeah. actually, yeah. And so I think through that, and then I started studying abroad with a fashion photographer, and that's when I fell in love with the fashion commercial side. Right. Um, but it takes a while to break into that industry. Uh, so really, I think the one thing that has helped me is to focus. So even though when I was starting out, I was shooting everything, I was shooting everything to pay the bills. Yes. Um, but I was just putting on my website the fashion advertising style work. Yes. So people started associating my brand with that kind of imagery. So people, it's the law of attraction. People start hiring you to shoot what you love. Right. So that's kind of how I think I ended up getting into that industry. Yeah, I, and I think that's fantastic advice. I tell people all the time, curate with intention. Yes. Exactly. Shoot whatever you love. Yeah. Just go out there, don't not take an opportunity that you want to do. <laughs> exactly. But be really focused on that, that messaging. I love yeah. that. So what would you say are uh, some of your biggest challenges right now, whether it's technically or um, from a business perspective or, right. just, or just something that you struggle with? Um, I think that in this industry, you have to have a real thick skin. Yeah. And especially with getting into the clients you want to shoot for, your dream clients, it's hard to get meetings with those people. Because as a commercial, you know, advertising fashion sort of genre, you have to try to make meetings with people that you want to shoot for. Because if you can get that in-person meeting, they're more, much more likely to hire you to shoot. Right. So that goes along with cold calling sometimes. Oh, so you do. You cold call. Sometimes, yeah. And, and, and when you hard. say cold call, you mean open book. I want to talk to these people. Yeah. And, and, and so tell me, like, give me just very briefly what that would be like for you. Like, you so, so, say what what tiny say? role play. <laughs> Hello, Fashion Weekly. I would say, hey, I'm Dixie Dixon. I'm going to be in town such and such dates. I would love to just run by my portfolio and meet with you guys for 15 minutes. And so, then you're hoping for a voicemail. Right. Because it's very awkward and when you get them on the phone because they're like, I don't know you. Why is she calling me? Yeah, <laughs> that sort of yeah, thing. So yeah. I'm hoping for a voicemail and I follow up with an email. Excellent. And then hopefully they'll get back to me, which apparently a good um, rate is getting like one out of 20. One 20 out of 20. Calls. That's what you're shooting for. <laughs> yeah. That just minuscule amount of a significant yeah. rejection. Total. Interesting. It is. It is so it's a numbers game. It is. Yeah. It is. I mean, but really and truly the personal contacts that you have, like this person refers you, those are the best, usually the best gigs. Of course, because it's that warm yeah. in. And yeah. the more jobs you do, the more that happens. Yeah. So it's just a building block. I'm so glad you say that, though. I really am so glad you say that, because I think that um, many people will look at someone who is successful in the field and working and full-time and getting distinction um, as somebody who uh, wouldn't do that. 
Right. Like the the phone's just ringing to you and oh, no, the books. Yeah, but <laughs> that's that's a major fallacy, and that's yeah. one thing I hear over and over again talking to people at the top of their game everywhere is um, they have to hustle. They are working oh. hard and they are yes. reaching out. Um, they are cold calling. Absolutely. Yeah. And even though you may get an agent, you still have to hustle. Like a lot of people think there's like a misconception with when you have an agent that they're going to just book you jobs and you can just sit back and That is the perception. Realize. Yes. That's true at all. And why is that tr true? Why is that not because true? Because no one can sell yourself better than you. When you arrive in person, they see who they're going to hire. Right. It's a lot better. Yeah, excellent. Oh, thank you so much for sharing yeah, that. Absolutely. Thank you. Where can people go to find out more about you? Um, Dixie Dixon. You can go to DixieDixon.com. Pretty simple. And That's then it. social media? Yeah. Um, Instagram, I am Dixie Dixon. Facebook, Dixie Dixon. It's under Dixie Dixon. Exactly. <laughs> just, just keep going all the way through. All right, good. Totally. And then we're going to jump in to watch you shoot right now. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. This is Tamara Lackey. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win some fabulous prizes.
Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.